<laughs> everyone okay and i'm still working on exercise 6.3 guys i'm afraid i made a silly mistake you see i forgot that you see for instance exercise 6.3a is asking me to do two tasks okay and the first one is doing that and the second one is doing that is actually the one for printing whether or not a letter appears in a string those are two different tasks however i tr uh, made two different videos for them even though i thought i'm gonna wrap them into squeeze them into a single video hence i decided since right without the use read this let me read this first without the use of the count method write a program that asks the user for a string and the letter and count how many occurrences that are of the letter in the string okay because of the as a result of the mistake i just made i thought you know what as opposed to writing everything from scratch i will simply modify the code that i gave you before Basically, this code here, you guys, it tells us whether or not a string is a letter is within a string, right? So here's the game plan. I still need to retrieve user inputs. I still need to validate it. But what I no longer want to do is to have that variable called is within. Instead, the variable I need is called count, which will count the number of occurrences okay again once uh i'll check each character of a given string against my character which is user letter if they are equal i don't have to print the letter is within the string no do i need to modify the is within variable okay so i'll get rid of that I'll also get rid of the break statement. Instead, what I will simply do is I'll simply increase my count value by one. Okay, again, I don't want, I no longer want to do that. But what I do want to do is to display the number of occurrences. I'll simply go. There are count or occurrences within a sent occurrences of a letter within a sentence. Okay, it's gonna be as simple as that, you guys. Now let's hit the run button and see. Let's count the number of my life programming. Cool. Let's count the number of I'll copy that string because I'll probably need it again. Let's count the number of E's. There are three E's, so it's one, two, three. As you can see, you guys, we good. Now let's count the number of something which is not here. So the zero number of Z's within that. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this tutorial, you guys. Cheers, I'm gone.